get these in here. Everything's now alphabetized. We can put this up. You guys ever get tired of loading up half a short box? You pick it up and everything just falls over inside and you end up with something like this. If you want to find out what the answer, my solution to this problem is, hit the like button while the intro plays and stay tuned. So ever since I started collecting comic books, obviously I've been using the cardboard short boxes that we've all come to know and love. You can get them in plain white or you can get them with graphics featuring your favorite comic book characters. Well, that's all good and great, but what happens when you don't have enough books in the box to fill it up and create a, a nice compact system inside and get rid of all that void inside and all that extra space so that the books don't tip over? Well, you gotta find something to stuff inside there. And uh, I've gotten crafty over the years. Uh, this one, got a bunch of bubble wrap, which as you heard, did not even work. Uh, sometimes I fold cardboard over. Sometimes I even go use a Funko Pop box or an action figure box. I've come up with a permanent solution and I'm here to talk to you guys about that today. So let's get rid of this thing and let's take a look at the solution. The BCW plastic storage bins. Now I've heard a lot of people talk about these and yes, BCW is a sponsor of the channel, but they did not send us this. This is not us here to try to pump up our sponsor. We love them, but this is just reviewing one of the products that they do make. And that is something that I have been looking forward to checking out for a long time now. I've heard a lot of people say good things about these. I've seen some great reviews on them, but, uh, you know, I'm, I had some reservations like you might be having right now. I love buying these boxes with my favorite characters on them and being able to tell what's inside just by what the character on the outside is. Let's take a look at these and see if this is going to be the solution to my problem and weigh out the pros and cons. So let's get this bad boy unboxed. So there you have it guys, the BCW storage bins. Now, these only come in one color that I know of. You may be able to get them in white, but I know for the most part, all I've ever seen is the black ones. Now, I will tell you right off the bat, these things are much more expensive than the cardboard ones. You can get the white ones for under 10 bucks, and the ones with the graphics usually run around $12 after tax. These are about $34.99, but I do know that you can order them in multi-packs to get discounts. Uh, but I paid $34.99 for this today at the local comic shop. Now there are a few reasons why I really, really love the idea of checking these out. One being, these things have built-in stack mode. That's right, these have stack mode. So if you take a look here, they do have these little knobbies up here on the top so that they stack perfectly on top of each other and they've got some stabilizers up there. So that's really, really cool. Now, the solution to Knowing what's inside, uh, that's also been taken care of. If you look right here, you will see that there is a spot right there where you can put like an index card or even a trading card just to let you know what's inside of there. So that is really, really cool. It takes care of that problem. So two checks for that. Another cool feature is the lids, they lock. That's right, they have locks on them. So you'll see right here, uh, push that down, push that, and then it's gonna open up inside. And what do we have inside? That's right, we have these awesome dividers. Now these can be used for multiple things. The reason why I'm excited about having these is not necessarily for the purpose of dividing the books inside, but more or less it takes care of my need for some kind of self-manufactured buffer inside to keep the books in there and keep them standing up straight. So it's really, really nice for that. You can see here, it's got slots there and at the top, so you just have to line everything up. 
Um, inside here, you've got one, two, three, four different positions to put it in. So that is really neat. Um, it would be cool to be able to position it anywhere, but I can understand why they did it this way. This is probably the best way to keep it the most stable. So I'm okay with that. And uh, yeah, there you go. So you got it right there. You can put books right up here and they're not gonna go anywhere. It's in there nice and tight. So these things are really, really slick looking too. I really like it. I was, I was kind of worried that these would be a little too boring for my taste, but I will tell you, these are nice and classy looking guys. If you wanna class up the comic book collection, I mean, you know what I'm saying? This is like the this is like the tuxedo of comic book storage boxes. So I'm really excited about having this and I'm I'm thinking now I'm going to go ahead and just transfer completely over to these storage bins. Probably try to buy a couple of them a month until I get them all swapped out and completely cardboard free and working with these plastic bins. Now, I know what you're asking. I know what you're asking. What size books fits in here? What size books fits in these? Well, I can tell you right now, we can fit inside here, Silver Age, Golden Age, I'm pretty sure will fit in here. And of course, your standard comic book sizes. Now, what's even better than being able to fit almost any comic book size in these? What if I told you they make them for slabs too? You know, those big bulky things of plastic, they hold our really nice, expensive, valuable books in that don't fit in any of those cardboard boxes. And you know, what do you do with all the ones you're not hanging up? You, you know, stick them in the boxes sideways. Well, you can't double stack them in there. So it takes up a lot of extra space. So you can actually purchase these that will actually hold the slabs. It's a perfect fit. That is awesome. I'm really, really looking forward to getting some of those. Uh, those are a little harder to get right this second. And right now they're on back order. So check the date of the video. Uh, if you're watching it on the replay or, or a few years down the road, I'm sure that they've got them in stock by now. But at this very moment in time during the recording of the video, they're on back order. So I was not able to grab one yet, but this right here was a good way for me to test out and see, is it worth completely swapping over even for the regular size books? And I'm telling you right now, I'm 100% sold on these BCW storage bins, 1000%. And again, has nothing to do with them being a sponsor of the channel. I've been wanting to check these out well before that. I just never pulled the trigger, but I'm so glad I did. Uh, they're very easy to put together, no tools necessary. Everything just snaps together by hand. They've got instructions inside the box. They're really nice, sleek. You can stack them up on top of each other. It's still gonna keep the boxes protected. It's gonna keep the books protected. You don't have to worry about the cardboard crushing or mildewing if it was in some kind of a, a wet area. Not that these are waterproof, but I think you stand a lot better chance with these than you do the cardboard boxes. So guys, drop me a comment. Let me know, are you using these already? If not, has this video convinced you to give it a try? I'd love to know your opinions on them. Let us know if you are using them. Do you like them and do you not? Let us know why. Please drop those comments so you guys can help each other out. Give some other examples of why or why not to use these BCW storage bins. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and do that. And as always, guys, collect your way.